Hey guys, Kim with Prevectus Group, and today we are at Wilder Tactical in Kings Mountain, North Carolina, and I have a special guest with me. Hey guys, welcome back. I'm here with the president and founder of Wilder Tactical. Josh, introduce yourself. I'm Josh Van Heusen, the founder of Wilder Tactical. Uh, we're here today to just go over a bunch of the new gear and the products and how it's used and what we have. Absolutely. So Josh here is going to go through all the different things and explain how he came up with it. You know, a little background on the company so you guys can get to know Wilder Tactical a little bit more. Go ahead, brother. So basic backstory on the whole company itself. Uh, it's I've been doing this for about six years or so. Uh, started off doing custom Kydex holsters and just playing around, doing stuff for fun and started experimenting, came up with a few basic ideas, and they turned out to be pretty good. Mm -hmm. And then we spent a long time just modifying them, doing different things. And then we finally taken it to the next level of getting into mass production, being able to get stuff out to the masses, uh, you know, higher quality parts, pieces, yeah. uh, different things like that. So essentially what we have here now is stuff that's been in the works for several years at different stages of development. This is the final product that I felt was you know, really the best product I agree. And so, a lot of other people agree too. So, well, absolutely. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> You're welcome. So, well, the main stuff that the majority of the company started with was the tourniquet holder. Okay. That's right. that's kind of where my stuff started way back in the day. I wrapped the tourniquet up with this Kydex, and next thing you know, the tourniquet holder was born. It looked absolutely nothing like this. Mm -hmm. It's gone through several different iterations to come to this style right here, the compression. Sure. And this actually is what spawned all the rest of this stuff. Okay. This, the tourniquet holder, I made some modifications to it. You bungee cord on it, held it down with two plates on it, mm -hmm. and then just kept working at it from there. And then yeah. one day I was sitting there and I got done with it. I was like, that's really cool. Stuck a mag in there and I was like, I bet I can make a mag holder for this. Yeah. So in the span of like four days, I did nothing but make different wooden dies for different things. And yeah. I just sat there and kept, holy cow, I can do yeah, this, yeah, I can yeah. make it hold that. Like, yeah. So we got a whole bunch of stuff started off and it, this has all come from that. All right. so. I think what everybody's really wanting to watch this video about, and that is these mini belt pads. Oh, okay. That, I thought it was me. Uh, no, no, it's probably, it wasn't me either. It was these belt pads. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and kind of put this out there. Um, I do not like battle belts. I do not like them. They're too big. They, when you have them on, and if you're wearing a plate carrier, it either pushes up on your plate carrier or it pushes down on your battle belt. Um, I don't like battle belts because they ride up on you or they fall if you don't have any hips. Um, they just get in the damn way. Plus, I'm, I've am i been wearing a duty belt for a very long time, so I don't really like anything around my hips. So I'm a, that's completely honest. We've had this conversation a couple of times and he knows it, but I'm gonna be honest with you. When you initially told me about the battle belt a couple months back and you're like, hey, just hang tight. I got one you need to try. Yep. I'm gonna be honest with you, I was like, all right. You know, I, and I think I was on my back porch when you told me. I was like, all right, man, you know, and I, I'm really going to be honest. I, I, then I saw the pictures. Yep. And I was like, uh, and I'm going to tell you the biggest thing that I was focused on was the actual height. Yeah. Okay. Yep. So I was in the picture. I'm looking at, okay, I'm like, all right, that's about an inch and a half belt. And it's just a little bit bigger. When I got this battle belt, I put it all together. I put it on. And I was just like, damn. When you were at class, you were doing a bunch of other stuff. So he instantly, sends me, yeah. Like, so I'm at the Roger shooting school. He overnights it to me. I get it. I, I'm putting the, the belt together in the parking lot of the UPS store in LJ, Georgia. This is a true story. <laughs> and everybody's looking at me like, oh, damn, something's about to go down. I'm serious. I'm like trying to put it together. I'm like, it's got to be right. Because I wanted to sit in the car with it on the yeah. way back to the range. So I get to the range. I got it halfway decent, you know, got my holster going. And I'm like, all right, let's try it. So I'm going. And I mean, this is a 3,000 round course in four days. Mm -hmm. I mean, so you're going and going and going and reload after reload. The belt is absolutely phenomenal. Tell us what went into this belt. So one of the basic things like you just said right there was the overall height. Okay. So this isn't any wider realistically than your belt. Okay. It's just a little tiny bit. So if you wear all your gear on your belt because you don't like a battle belt, well, 
now you're just putting it on another belt. It's padded for your body. It's easy to remove and do other things with. Mm -hmm. And then the fact that it has a nice grip on the back that locks it into whatever underbelt you have on. Sure. It will lock it onto that so it yeah. doesn't ride up and down. Right. You know, you don't want to put it over. If you put it on a shirt, it'll still lock into the shirt and it's yeah. fine. Uh, but if and you, a jacket. And, and a jacket. Oh, I've yeah, done and it. a jacket. I've done it. And my preferred way to run it is directly over the belt here because it mm -hmm. sticks to that belt. So wherever yep. that belt goes, it goes. When you yep. bend and move, it just stays on it. Yep. Doesn't have any issues. Uh, kind of what happened here is the same thing. I hated battle belts. They're big, they're wide, they're oh, bulky. So you ain't like them either. Yeah, you bend over, <laughs> they're uncomfortable, they dig into you. Yeah, yeah. Um, you, know, you had to use molly clips and everything, so everything was yeah. that wide. You couldn't be in front because it was so wide, and that's why I dug into you. Yeah. So by making it all small and compact, I was able to make myself you know, more agile, more movable, yeah. bendable, all those other things. The other thing that I want to say the when I try battle belts, I've tried three different brands, okay? The problem I had was when they're so much wider than the actual belt, the belt that's actually weaved in the battle belt, Same. is the tops. Yes, it's like this mushroom effect yep. where the tops of the battle belt are folding up and out. And if you got a little bit of a belly, it, like it makes it worse. <laughs> yeah. And uh, I mean, you guys know, I mean, not all of us are, you know, like super fit, right? Yep. So that, that was the biggest thing. So the reason why, yeah, it looked ugly and all that, but the biggest thing was that depending on the height of that battle belt, it could come up and start to obscure yeah. your magazines and your ability to like get to that magazine. Or just let everything hang out. I've seen people walking around with mags literally hanging out. Oh yeah. And they're just running with it, but it's just because the battle belt's sagging over the belt exactly. underneath. Yeah. So now snags on different things, those other things. This was originally designed to be a low pro setup so you could sure. put it down nice and tight, wear a jacket over top and do other things and also run it as a full-on battle belt, or even run it as a duty belt. Right. Just to hold gear, but not be anything. It, it's not too big, it's uh, you know, it's not gonna bend and flop and do other right. things like that. It uses the belt as the actual structure, versus the other ones where the belt just kind of holds it to your body, the pad, the battle belt, holds everything else. I'd invite the, the competition guys to give this a try. Um, we've already talked about how like the magazine holders, how of course they're good at holding the magazine, that's their job but they are very fast and coupled with like a battle belt like this, it's just low pro, It's but it's a little wider where yeah. you need it, you yeah. know, but it, it is low pro. I'd really invite some of you competition guys to try it. It's just, it's just comfortable. It's mm -hmm. designed to be comfortable and, and that was the bottom line. All right. Yeah. Well, guys, look, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. We came all the way out here uh, to North Carolina to visit these guys, good group of dudes. They got a nice, a lot of nice cool toys. I'm sure you guys are gonna see some pictures on Instagram and Facebook for sure. But um, the other cool thing is, is they've given us a 10% 10 discount. Code. Yes. So if you want some of this stuff, which I know you do, um, go on their website, make sure you use the coupon code PROVECTUS10, save yourself 10% on what you order. So that's awesome, and thanks for that. Yeah. I mean, you don't have to, and, and like literally, I appreciate that. Yeah. Um, but yeah, guys, this is um, this is some awesome stuff. Um, I, I just wanted you guys to hear from his mouth. This is the man who created all this stuff. Um, if you want to find out more information about Wilder Tactical, go to wildertactical.com. All their stuff is on their website. You got anything you want to add? We got Instagram. We got Facebook. That's right, Instagram. Uh, and really, that's it. All right. So, how do they find you on Instagram? Uh, Wilder Tactical. All right, so at Wilder Tactical, wildertactical.com, Facebook, at Wilder yep. Tactical. Yep. So that's great. You guys know how to find them. When you order your stuff, use the coupon code. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Um, if you found it on YouTube, please be sure to hit the subscribe button if you like this type of stuff. Um, if you want to find out more information on, on our training courses, go to ProvectusGroup.org. You can find us on all social media platforms at Group. And guys, remember, in all that you do, be unstoppable.